don't. You need to justify your actions before you shoot us. That's new. Hmm. That could be interpreted as weakness, Daddy. I'm disappointed in you. I don't want to shoot anybody. You shot at me before. Yes. That's I. I regret that. You ran away. But shooting at you uh, certainly didn't have matters. Of course not. You're far, far too stubborn. If you didn't want to kill me, then why did you come? Our last conversation, the one in which you told me what it was you didn't like about me, never really concluded. As you ran away, I should be allowed to tell you what I don't like about you. That, uh, I believe, uh, would be a rule of polite conversation, no? That's why you showed up. And you call me stubborn? And you're sure you're not here to force me to go back and become like you? If I thought there was a chance of forcing you, but of course that, that would never happen. You're more, more than welcome. So you return home and become my daughter again anytime. And I would even begin to share my power and responsibility with you if you did. Mm. Not that you care. So what is it? Hmm? What is it? The thing, the thing that you don't like about me. It was a word you used that provoked me. You called me arrogant. To plunder, as it were, a God-given right, I'd call that arrogant, Daddy. But that is exactly what I don't like about you. It's you that is arrogant. That's what you came here to say? I'm not the one passing judgment, Daddy. You are. No, no. You do not pass judgment because you sympathize with them. A deprived childhood and a homicide really isn't necessarily a homicide, right? The only thing you can blame is circumstances. Rapists and murderers may be the victims, according to you, but I, I call them dogs. And if they're lapping up their own vomit, the only way to stop them is with a lash. But dogs only obey their own nature, so why shouldn't we forgive them? Dogs can be taught many useful things, but not if we forgive them every time they obey their own nature. So I'm arrogant. I'm arrogant because I forgive people. My God. Can't you see how, how condescending you are when you say that? I mean, you have, you have this preconceived notion no. that nobody, listen, that nobody can't possibly attain the same high ethical standards as you, so you exonerate them. I cannot, I cannot think of anything more arrogant than that. You, my child, my dear child, you forgive others with excuses that you would never in the world permit for yourself. Why shouldn't I be merciful? Why? No, 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 you should. You should be merciful when there's time to be merciful. But you must maintain your own standards. You owe them that. You owe them that. The penalty you deserve for your transgression, they deserve for their transgressions. They're human beings. No, 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 does every human being need to be accountable for their actions? Of course they do. You don't even give them that chance. And that is extremely arrogant. I love you, I love you, I love you to death. But you are the most arrogant person I have ever met. And you call me arrogant. Uh, I, um, uh, no, I have no more say. <laughs>